Hello guys, my name is Ray. Hey, today we're going to talk about no? quadratic equation. everyone so today i'm going to talk about inverse variation here i'm going to show you a tutorial about inverse variation so let's begin hello everyone now welcome to my tutorial about inverse variation have this application of inverse variation so tignan natin itong dalawang variables na ito kung saan i-apply natin ang inverse variation for example the number of workers kapag marami ang gumagawa ng particular job mas maiksi yung time na magamit to finish that job. On the other hand, kapag kakaunti ang workers, mas mahaba yung time na magagamit to finish the job. So, this is an example of inverse variation. Now, ang inverse variation is a relationship between two variables, x and y, that can be written as y is equal to k over x, where k is not equal to 0. So, ang inverse variation, meron tayong equation na ginagamit na y is equal to k over x. This also means y varies inversely as x or y is inversely proportional to x. So, kung ano yung unang variable na binanggit sa ating variation, which is y, at yung isolate sa isang side. Sa isang side is equal to k divided by x. So, yung pangalang variable na binanggit, which is x, Yun yung ipapang divide natin sa k. Now, what is k? Ang k ang tinatawag natin constant of variation that relates the two variables. Now, isa natin ang kalimbawa ng k per constant of variation into 12. And then, meron tayong values of x which are 2, 3, and 4. Gamit natin ang k at ang values ng x para makuha natin ang values ng y. So, ga gamit ang equation na ito, gumamit tayo ng substitution. Yung 12, ipapalit natin dun sa k, at yung unang at value of 2, ipapalit natin dun sa variable na x. So, 12 divided by 2, we have 6. Kapag ang x ay 2, at ang constant of variation naman ay 12, the value of y is 6. Let's have the value of y when x is equal to 3. Gagamitin, gagamitin pa din natin ang k na 12, i-divide natin sa 3, that is equal to 4. So, kapag ang x ay 3 and y naman ay 4. Next, kapag ang x ay 4 at k pa rin ay 12, we have this 12 divided by 4, so y is equal to 3. So, kung mapapansin natin sa ating table of values, kapag ang x ay tumata, Ang x naman ay tumataas, ang y naman ay bumababa. So, isa yan sa maaari natin ma-observe sa inverse variation. Now, kung multiply natin ang value ng x and y, we have 2 times 6, we have 12, 3 times 4, 12 yun ang sagot, and 4 times 3, we also have 12. Pare-pareho ang 12 ang makukuha natin product kapag multiply natin ang variable ng x and y. Therefore, para makuha ang constant of variation, kailangan lamang natin i-multiply ang given variables which is x and y. Kaya ang ating formula to get that k is k is equal to x and y. Now, kagaya ng nakita natin sa table of values at saka sa unang example kanina, sa inverse variation, kapag ang isang quantity ay tumaas, ang isang quantity naman ay bababa pa. That, parang vice versa lang. Now, let's translate the following statement into equation. So, K is the constant of variation. Number 1, Z varies inversely as B. So, ang unang binangkit dito na variable ay Z, tapos varies as B. Ito ang ating magiging equation. Isolate natin ang unang binangkit na variable, which is Z. Is equal sa pangalawang binangkit ang papang-divide natin sa K. So, we have Z is equal to K over B. Yun ang katumpas na Z varies inversely as B. Next, we have number 2. 
m is inversely proportional to n. Our equation is m is equal to k over n. So again, ang ulang binanggit na variable ay m is equal sa pangulang variable na binanggit ay di-divide naman natin sa k. So, m is equal to k over n ay katumbas na sa m is inversely proportional to n. As example, sa pag-translate, we have c is inversely proportional to s. So, magiging equation natin ay ito. So, c is yung unang variable na ka-isolate. So, it's equal to k divided by s. So, ito yung ilan sa mga halimbawa na pag-translate as each statement into equation. Now, let's try to solve the following involving inverse variation. Given that y varies inversely as x, find the constant of variation if x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7. So, ang una natin kailangan gawin ay gumawa ng equation. So, we have y varies inversely as x. Kaya, magiging equation natin ay y is equal to k over x. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is yung k. So, ang gagawin natin is gumamit tayo ng substitution. Hanapin natin yung k. Substitute natin yung k. Yung y, papalit natin sa given na 7. At yung k naman, ay papalit natin ng value which is at 3. So, we have 7 is equal to k over 3. Next, ang gagawin natin is imumultiply natin both sides ng 3 para ma-eliminate natin denominator ng k which is 3. Ito na ang ating panibagong equation. Nag-multiply tayo ng both sides ng 3. Next, pwede na natin itong i-simplify since pwede i-multiply naman natin ng 3 sa k, i-divide natin yung sa numerator na 3. So, cancel, cancel. Kaya ang may iwan na dito is yung k. And then, multiply 7 times 3, the product is 21. Therefore, the constant of variation is equal to 21. That's it all for today. I hope you learned something about inverse variation.